If you don't have time to find news pieces that are relevant to you, don't worry because we're curating them right here for you. All the top tech news from Southeast Asia, so you don't have to go searching for it anywhere else. Let's get started. Apple is investing $250 million to expand its Singapore campus, including major upgrades to two buildings acquired in 2022. The project starts later this year, increasing capacity for AI development as well as other functions. Absolutely love this story because I am a coffee fanatic and the Indonesian coffee industry seems to be thriving with the expansions and funding boost. Four Coffee and Kopi Kangan are going regionally, while Jumpstart Coffee has just secured funding last year. Additionally, Jago Coffee is a mobile cafe company that founded in 2020 with a fleet of electric coffee carts in Jakarta. What a unique concept, and they just raised $6 million in Series A funding. Jago Coffee caters to budget conscious consumers, and it easily allows customers to locate where their carts are just using their mobile app, delivering within 15 minutes. And it looks like Indonesia and Singapore are dominating the news today with another story from Indonesia. We mentioned yesterday that Tim Cook is planning on visiting Indonesia, but it seems that he is finally there. And Apple is expanding its educational initiatives in the country by launching a new Apple Developer Academy in Bali, adding to its existing academies in Jakarta, Sabaria, and Batam. The Academy is offering a nine-month program open to global applications and aiming to develop skills in coding, design, marketing, and project management, fostering a new generation of tech talent. And the Singapore-based tech company Superbase has advanced its position in app development by acquiring Oreo. Oriol is a cloud native storage engine extension for PostgreSQL. This acquisition enhances Superbase's open source platform, positioning it as a robust alternative to Firebase and enabling developers to more easily build and scale web and mobile applications. From our curated list of guest articles today, we have one by Jeremy Tan and another by Jesse Fuji. Jeremy Tan is highlighting the critical role of ownership in team success, particularly in high functioning early stage startups. He observes that teams where members are acting independently and are self-driven tend to operate more efficiently and move faster compared to those always waiting for approvals. There seems to be a good logic in this. Imagine if you had autonomy to do what you felt was correct at work, you'd probably be more pushed to get it done as opposed to thinking that you now have to go through a series of approvals before it actually gets published and moved forward. He says this ownership mindset is prevalent in successful tech companies like Vidya as well as Tessa, especially when they're smaller and every team member acts like a principal. For more details, read the rest of the article. And Jesse Kuji is talking about a former Navy SEAL who accidentally turned a $39 to just belt into a $100 million business. Who are we talking about? We're talking about Randy Hetrick, a U.S. Navy SEAL commander. And he apparently came up with this idea about the jiu-jitsu belt when he was on a top-secret mission in Southeast Asia. Has that got you curious yet? If yes, please visit our website to read the rest of the article and see more about the story. And that's it for today's Top Tech News. As usual, if you enjoyed this story, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube where we have profile deep dives about people in tech that you need to know about, as well as daily tech news and any other interesting stories that we find. And as for now, please make sure to also leave a comment and let us know which story for today was your favorite. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.